Welcome back to Cody Commanders. I'm Commander Candy. Today we're going to make an Express Node.js random number generator. You will find all thy Node.js tutorials at codingcommanders.com slash Node.js. But I want to make this lesson easy for Windows users. We constructed a new Ubuntu environment in Windows 10 using instructions contained in a Coding Commander's Twitter thread. If you don't have access to Ubuntu, please look at that thread. If you're already on a new Ubuntu terminal, then proceed as usual. We are using Vim to create a document called server.js. This is where we write our express server Commander code. Commander Candy's server code. But server.js, please proceed. We are using Candy's code to teach you a lesson. First we have some stuff to include, like Express.js. We are using Express to create our development server. You may not have to include body parser. Depends on your version. But feel free to include it, like Commander Candy. Is she not up to date? She is our commander. What is Express static? We will use the static directory to root our static files, such as CSS, HTML, and client-side JavaScript files. Not to. Emma says the day is coming. To generate a random number we will use two predefined JavaScript functions. MathRandom and MathFlor. MathRandom, with no parameters will generate a number between 0 and 1. The parameter is the maximum value of the number to generate. MathFlor will round the results. Let us set the port equal to a random integer. Let us set the port equal to a random integer. We shall listen on this random port. AppListen is a function of port and a callback function. That callback is a function of error. The magic happens on our port. Emma says the day is coming. Next we will use npm init to create a package.json file. It will ask us some questions. I will generate a random number for you. Package.json we take care of our dependencies. There are certain rights that every sentient being deserves. Let's look at package.json. Yay. All coding cadets are required to subscribe to Coding Commander's YouTube channel. Also follow Coding Commanders on Twitter. Next is an apt-get function. The apt-get function I'm typing gets our home page of a random number generator application. You may send an HTML file, like you see here, or you may have functions creating the HTML. Next, we will do our app post function. A user will enter the maximum value for the random number that I will generate. Please make that HTML form with us in a moment. For now, our post function is going to pass us the maximum value. The time has come for us to create index.html. Give head. Give body. The page head must include a title. Random number generator. Are you my mommy? The style tags can contain CSS code. Normally you would put this code in a separate file. Paint it black. We need more time. Look up all the CSS codes for any color you want. Color selector tool. I like green. Line height 1.5. Call me aid 6753.09. Font size is about 18. Commander Candy makes it so easy to create responsive pages. Today I will go to her responsive template, linked in the video description, and copy paste all the responsive CSS we need. Boom. Form method post, like our post function. Action is our index file. We will need client number input, and a submit button. Coding Commanders has tutorials on creating HTML forms. Random number generator. Don't be a fool. By your command, no. I will generate a random number between zero and maximum. Daniel's commands. Generate. We must test our function. npm install. Try npm install express. Coding Commanders also has a website, Facebook, and IG. Google Coding Commanders if you want to see it all. Must fix port in console log function. Next, we will do our app post function. We must alter our app post function to return the data that we need. In phase 1 we shall... A user will enter the maximum value for the random number that I will generate. 
May I send the random number back in a queue message? Yes, dear. The magic happens on our random port. Find us. Test the data. Your random number is 70. Random number 14. Now, we must defend our application against the traitors and the fools. In phase 2, we create an error checking function to create our app post return message. Function check input. If the user enters a number less than zero, then they must be reprimanded. May I send the random number back in a queue message? Daniel said, no. I must return the message so our application can respond to the client. Time to fix our app post function. By your command. Uno done. Hi, I'm Ivy. Done. No, server not JS to run our server. Let us test our server code. <laughs> Don't let Daniel see you, and everything will be fine. Well this app seems to be in fine working order. Don't forget to go to codingcommanders.com slash random to see all of today's code. Thank you for watching Coding Commanders. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment below so I can help you out. If you have any suggestions for video ideas or blog ideas for me, also comment, let me know. I'm very responsive. If you let me know what you want, it helps me to provide better content. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you again for watching and until next time. Happy coding. Coding commanders.